we launched our partnership with NTT in 2015. It's just incredible to see what we developed together and the new experience we created for fans around the Tour de France. The relationship has really helped us innovate over the last nine years. It started with, with trackers on the back of the bikes and we've gone through cycles of machine learning, analytics, connected stadium using IoT sensors. Anytime we can invest, test uh, new technology uh, to get closer to the fan, uh, to get a larger public uh, to understand what is our sport, this is the, the, the thing we try to do all the best. Edge is where we are, like we're, we're at the race, we're at the edge. The journey of the data from the edge to the fan, it starts on the back of the bike, it relays through motorcycles that are in the race, up to a fixed wing aeroplane, it's microwaved back to the end of the race, from the end of the race it goes to the cloud, it's analysed, it's augmented with additional data, and then it's made available via a data service, which downstream applications to connect to, which then the fan uses. But in many ways, a lot of the action happens with our team distributed all around the world. The fact that we can ingest 180 locations for 180 different riders and cross it through and do analytics and enrich it, then output it all within less than a second is what makes it amazing. The fans of the Tour de France, they see really good value in terms of the real-time data and data-driven stories. New broadcast graphics can be created. We have the Race Center website. We have the Tour de France mobile app, so fans have access to all the data inside at any point in time. We have the Fantasy Leaks, and we have, of course, our Lead Tour Data Live Race Insights. Just as last year, we have Marianne, which is our digital human. Feel free to ask me anything you'd like to know. Knowledge is powered, so the, the teams try to get as many data as they can. Technology changed everything in strategy and of course it has also changed the way the riders are training. We're talking three and a half thousand kilometres around the country of France. That's a world's largest connected stadium. The world's largest connected stadium really is a combination of lots of layers of information, really bringing all this information together so there's a one pane of glass view of everything that's going on, really a digital twin of the event. And so you can almost proactively address future issues that might be problems. To anticipate the flow, to anticipate the location when we are moving every day. We can count on the expertise of NTT. The recipe is, is, is always like trying to improve constantly and to use any uh, new technology available on the market to do so.